Hi everyone, so we are back uh, to uh, basically working with our couple modules of Mathematica and how to deal with Mathematica, how to use it as a tool for data analysis, uh, for your PSET assignments, uh, to create visually attractive graphs, uh, and to use it as a kind of data analytical tool as we kind of mentioned previously. So um, last time we went through some of the basic functions of assigning variables, evaluating cells, uh, doing some mathematical operations. Now we're going to work with um, one of the most important things that we'll be dealing with Mathematica is essentially working with lists, tables, list manipulations, and basically writing kind of um, essentially for loops uh, in order to kind of analyze and do repetitive or um, to kind of re to do repetitive analysis. So we're going to work with lists, create lists, extract data, and yeah, that's what we're going to be focused on here today. So let's start off by creating a, a list. So we could import lists. We're going to actually work with that a little bit later. Um, but first, let's just create uh, kind of a list, uh, a random list of numbers. So I'm going to call this variable, set it to list, random variate, normal distribution. So this is just saying pick randomly um, from this normal distribution of the Gaussian center, let's say center at four, standard deviation of one, 500. Again, if you don't know what any of these um, functions are, how they work, you just look at random variate. And variate, and you can kind of see which all what those functions do. So simulate continuous probability distribution, pick a random number. Yep, that's all it is. Essentially a markup process. So I could create a list. I could do a hundred list, three hundred list, a thousand, four. That's going to take my computer a little bit long, but you see where I'm going. So random list of five hundred. I press it over again and again. You see different number numbers. Yep. So. That is my random list. Um, you can also create uh, basically a, a, a table. So let's say I want to make a table list. A table, just a list of numbers from going from one, from I goes from one to 10. So again, this is kind of, table is the equivalent, uh, if you've done math, of like your for loops or type of operation. So from one, iterate I from one to 10. You can also do this in intervals of two and in intervals of three, you could kind of change this value. So three, you could do 0.3, and you can see you have fun with that operation. But we just want to do it from one to ten. So you could also make a list uh, from one to ten. There, you could also visualize your uh, list in some really interesting, cool ways. So you can look at it in table form, and you can look at that list as a table. You don't want to do um, actually an error. If I try to do D list times five, I'll get this. But if I do T list, table form, and then if I do, this is acceptable, but if I do this, I should, an arrow pop up. So again, that table form is just for visualization purposes. So, and if I want to delete all my code, you just go up here and click down, right there. I could also create uh, a matrix. So let's look at the matrix. I'm going to create a table. Actually, there's lots of ways to create a matrix. So you can kind of do this manually. One, two, five, two, four. Actually, let's do like 16, 27, 18, and minus 1, minus 10, minus 11. So we can look at that matrix. So matrix. Actually, actually, matrix form. So that's another way to kind of visualize uh, essentially this matrix. Um, and then now we can kind of start to pick up the matrix. So we've seen lists, we've seen uh, random number lists, and we've seen matrices now. One of the critical things that you might want to look at is looking at dimensions. So dimensions tells you if you're looking at a list, what are the dimensions of your list? You could also, if it's a 1D list, like our list there, or dimensions of your T list, you can see the length. It's just going to be the same. But when I look at the dimensions of matrix, 3 by 3. So again, that's a nice way to kind of see what kind of, what dimensions are you dealing with. And uh, then you can kind of work with uh, those matrices or lists or tensors or whatever you're dealing with. Um, so you could do um, operations on these matrices or lists. So I could do matrix to matrix, matrix form. So you could dot product it. You could find uh, the eigenvalues. That's not for another time. 
um, beyond really a little bit of the scope of this course. Let me look at this numerically. Uh, look at it in this form. I can find the eigen systems. So again, I've had a really nice um, tool for you to have at your disposal. You see how I can flip those whichever way I want. So uh, I can exist in the matrix. I could do matrix dot t list. I'll get an error because again, incompatible shapes. Uh, but you can kind of see where I'm going with uh, these values here. Now, one of the useful things or what we want to do with lists is extract data from that list. So in order to extract data, I just have to do look at my R list. Let's look at that again. So if I want to grab the first data set from that R list, that random list, all I do is double bracket. One. Or alternatively, you could do extract. So there's a function called extract, but it's not as, um, I, I really like this, uh, this double bracket system as well. So you could extract this, but again, you can see how laborious that code is compared to just that. So we could do the same thing. Extract list, our list, one. Do the same thing, but much, much quicker, right? We don't have to type out an extract. Uh, if I want to get the first 50 points, I could go uh, one double bracket to 50. So grab the first point in our list, the first element in our list to the 50th point. If I want to extract um, uh, from point four, you know, the 400th point on our list to the end, minus one is the end of your list, I could extract that. I could also, random choice, randomly choose from our list 10. So you can just randomly choose 10, uh, basically 10 elements from this random list right here. So nice, uh, there's lots of options, lots of ways to manipulate uh, and work with lists. And, and the reason that we're kind of covering this is when we'll get to the uh, importing data section, a lot of times there'll be a header in your data. So you want to kind of just get rid of that you know, data set and don't bother with it. Uh, and then you want to extract like, kind of critical information from that list. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're uh, looking at and working with moving forward. So let's see a little bit. Let's go look back at our matrix. matrix. Matrices are a little bit uh, more difficult in terms of how we want to kind of select and extract data from a list. So let's look at matrix. If I select one, what do I get? I get the first row. So you can see here, um, if you have a, uh, a list with multiple dimensions, so three by three, instead of just that kind of simple, you know, one dimensional list, one D list, if I extract one, it gives me this first row here. If I extract, let's look at it. It's going to give me my second row. So if I want to extract a number, so let's say, if I go 1, 1, this is going to give me my first row. So the first indice tells you the row, and the second gives you the column. So if I want to extract 2, 1, 2, that's going to give me two. And one, three, you kind of be running out here. Five. Oops, sorry. <laughs> three will give me five. If I want to do two, that should give me 18, and then et cetera, et cetera. You can also call and then three. So I could give me, just give me my, all the rows, you know, the, basically the rows don't leave that um, untouched and just give me the third column here. That's another way you can kind of extract data, uh, data set there. So nice way. We're going to get into it a lot uh, later on. So yeah, that's about it for manipulating lists. Obviously, there's a lot more that we'll deal with and cover. But all right, that's uh, all there is to that. So next time, we are going to work on plotting in Mathematica. So really important section, really fun section. We'll get it into it next time. Thanks. Bye.